I mean, this is crazy. This is crazy. This is insane. It's crazy. Apocalyptic. Uh, apocalypse now. Okay. In the Sierra Mountains, in California, Nevada, they're having an insane. I have never seen a blizzard like this. 12 feet of snow and 145 mile an hour winds. That is is off the chain but let me first and we're and we're celebrating today's the 14th year that we've been online 14 years we're celebrating today and this is the worst blizzard in those in those 14 years i can tell you that right now let me put a shout out right now for www.pastorpaulgold.com that's www.pastorpaulgold.com if you keep your money in a bank account listen up your savings could be at risk the banking system is once again under extreme stress. And after last year's banking crisis, the dangers are clearer than ever. Car loans are defaulting. Credit card debt is ballooning. Commercial real estate is on the brink of collapse. And there aren't just red flags. There are sounds of financial ticking time bombs. But there is a safe and easy way to protect your financial future. Gold. That's right. You heard me. Gold. It is the biblical currency. Gold is outside the government's reach and safe from the economic policies that jeopardize your wealth. Gold allows you to lock in today's values in the face of tomorrow's uncertainty. Don't wait for the next headline, crash, or bank run to act. Inaction could be catastrophic. Constant noble gold investments today. Get a hold of them. You can call them at 877-646-5347. That's 877-646-5347. Or go to www.pastorpaulgold.com. If you get an IRA or a, uh, a gold or silver IRA or roll over that 401k, you can get this one quarter of an ounce standard gold standard coin. It would be yours for free. Guys, do it now. Oh, my. I, I don't want to talk about the Great Reset. I don't believe it's coming yet, but it is coming. Now, let's talk about uh, things that are coming. We're, uh, today is 14 years. We're celebrating 14 years on YouTube. We started 14 years ago today. I'll never forget it when God told me to get my Bible, get a cup of coffee, and turn on a camera. And back in those days, there, were, there weren't cameras in your laptop or your you or your PC. You had to buy one of those cameras, and it was rickety, and you had to put it up there and and try to tighten it up and get it lined up. Uh, and it was you know uh, 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 everybody moved like this, uh, uh, you know. And it was just those were the days, guys. But Heidi just sent out an email. She just sent out an email to forty three thousand of you on our mailing list. She just sent this out. And so go and check your email. If you don't see her email, look in your spam, ma'am, because for some reason they like to they they, they want to throw everybody into the spam. Check it out. She sent you an email. If you don't, if you're not on her email list, you need to get on it. Okay, you need to get on it. Uh, and she in this email she shows you some of the old videos that we did in the very beginning, and we have the those are there for you so you can watch and remember. Uh, how we've covered every major event in the last 14 years. Patrick Thomas said, I got my email. It was awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much. And thank Heidi. She was up at 6 o'clock this morning working on putting it all together to send to all of you. Uh, of course, I didn't get to bed till about 1.30 last night because of the show, so I didn't get up at 6 o'clock. But I did get up at 8, okay? And that's that's late for me. 8 is late. Anyway, Thank you all for your support. If you'd like to celebrate with us, uh, today's the day. Send your best offering that God would lay on your heart. Let us hear from you today uh, because we are marching forward. Uh, we've, we're praying about different agendas on how to broaden taking the gospel to the world. And so we're in prayer, and part of that prayer is, of course, the budget. So this is the day that we celebrate and help us spring forward, okay? Despite the blizzard, let's spring forward. So thank you all for your faithfulness 
And there's way, many ways to give. You can go straight to my website at paulbegleyprophecy.com. You can text the word give to the number that's going to be scrolling on the screen here. Uh, you can send a check or money order to, uh, to us, uh, and the address is going to be scrolling along. The sc- you can pick up the phone and call the main line at 765-414-2230. You can do that right now. There's the text give number. Uh, okay, so just do it. We thank you. We bless you in Jesus' name. Now, we need to pray because this is a storm of biblical proportion, a powerful blizzard dumping 12 feet of snow across the Sierra Nevada uh, mountains, 145. I never heard of such thing. But remember, Mike said there'd be winds of 140, 150, maybe up to 160 miles an hour. 145 mile an hour wind gust. It's the biggest storm of the season, but it's really the biggest storm I've ever heard of. Uh, with snow falling. Now I have seen three feet of snow. I have seen 36 inches of snow. We've even seen 44 inches of snow a couple of years ago up there in around Buffalo, New York, and places. But a 145 mile an hour wind on top of a uh, uh, 12 feet feet of snow feet uh, with snow falling. I don't know. I, I I don't know. This is crazy. The f- snow was falling two to four inches every hour. Travel is life-threatening. Don't even attempt it. It's impossible, really. The portions of the highly traveled I-80 are completely closed and will remain closed for days because there's no way you're going to get uh, they're going to get that cleaned up anytime soon. Okay, no way. And uh, this uh, this powerful blizzard's underway in the Sierra Nevada mountains, and the forecast to bring this relentless snow for the next two days is on so it's going to end up being more than 12 feet the wind gusts are already clocking at 145 miles an hour and this is the biggest snowstorm of the sierra mountain season uh the blizzard warnings are absolutely uh active code red heavy snow is falling uh like you wouldn't believe and with the snow falling about two to sometimes four inches an hour, travels life-threatening impossible. The California Highway Patrol up there in Truckee, California, uh, they said the travel is highly discouraged and dangerous, noting that the conditions over the Donner Summit deteriorated rapidly, causing a traffic mess, okay, a traffic mess. Trucks are now at maximum restrictions. And this wintry mix with winds are roaring at the 145 mile an hour reported on the high peaks there at Lake Tahoe. Are you serious? Are you serious? 145 mile an hour winds at Lake Tahoe. And these strong winds are gusting. And uh, with the possibility this weekend for the Sierra chain and all elevated areas and mountains across California and into Utah. The UC Berkeley uh, Central Syria Snow Lab, based in Soda Springs, California, said today it received 19.1 inches of snow uh, in the last 24 hours, and that's nothing. Conditions, they've already deteriorated this morning. It's getting worse and worse. There's also Backcountry Avalanche Watch. They're very worried that there could be a major avalanche. So if you're one of the skiers out there or you're a mountain climber or you're messing around out there in the hill, I'm telling you, this is not this. I know. No, no, this is not the storm to go and, and test fate. This is dangerous. Even Nevada's Governor Joe Lombardo said the storm is expected to bring dangerous temperatures as well. Bitter cold, blizzard conditions, unparalleled. Uh, wind gust and winds. He has declared a state of transportation, energy, and emergency management are working to maximize the preventive measures and recovery efforts it's going to take. Forget about going to school. Forget about getting on that interstate I-80. Just forget about it. Just forget about it. It is a storm for the ages. Now, while that's going on, we've had a 6.0 earthquake. That has hit over on the coast of Africa in what's called Owen Fracture Zone. This is a major fault line. And so it, in it, right there at the zone, we had this uh, earthquake, 5.9, uh, 
uh, and it was only 10.2 kilometers deep. We've also had a 4.6 in Iran, a 5.1 in Japan, uh, Texas, New Mexico, uh, Smith's Ferry, Idaho, uh, Petersville, Alaska, uh, all having earthquakes as well, including Oklahoma and several in Puerto Rico, and it just goes on and on. There was also a 4.8 in Papua New Guinea. There was a 5.3 in the Philippines. There was an earthquake in Hawaii. There was a 4.8 in Somalia, which is crazy, but there is a fault line there. There was a 4.5 in La Capella, Peru. There was a 5.3 in Indonesia, 4.8 in Indonesia. A Snyder, Texas, had a quake. Holy Cross, Alaska, had a quake discovery bay california had a 3.0 quake uh it just keeps going guys toya texas 3.3 uh 4.2 in chile 4.0 in the dominican republic more quakes in hawaii 4.4 earthquake in indonesia even the geysers in california had a 2.5 uh, and there was two more quakes in Alaska, one for 3.3, one for 2.6. And Lebek, California, had a 2.5. Pakistan, 4.1. 5.2. Japan, 5.0. Indonesia, 4.1 over there by Russia in the sea there. And uh, a 4.4 even hit Fiji. That's just some of the earthquakes that we've experienced uh, that are significant, but there's more than that even. And so th there's all of these issues are happening simultaneously. And then there's, they ran calling wildfires. That's right. They ran calling wildfires. You know it. They ran calling. No, we're not going to try that. Uh, but certainly Texas is on fire. Texas on fire, an inferno, guys, inferno. There's no doubt about it. And it's the second largest um, wildfire in, in American history. Um, it's crazy. And it just came out of nowhere. And uh, this deadly Texas wildfire, this inferno, has uh, reached now 1.2 million acres the second, it's the largest wildfire in Texas history. It's the second largest wildfire in American history. And it is nowhere near uh, in, in position to be contained. It's growing and it isn't going to stop. And I mean, it's burning everything in sight. The heat is off the charts. There's no, I don't know what to say. Was it a terrorist attack? Was it some kind of uh, laser from the from space attack? Was it arsonist, a terrorist arsonist? W was it, um, you know, I mean, I mean, is it the judgment of God? I mean, it, really, you start wondering what in the world is going on, and uh, but it's all happening right now. So we have so we have an earthquakes, we have wildfires, we have snow blizzards, we have high winds. And then we have Fannie Willis. What? Yeah, she might be gone. And, and that whole that whole uh, uh, fiasco in uh, Georgia uh, may be going to go away. We'll see how that works out. But uh, it's crazy. So all these things are happening on this, the 14th anniversary of us being online. And this amazing online church, I want to thank you all in advance. I want to thank you right now some of you have already started giving today please do that we could break a record if god would just move upon our hearts and help us springboard into the next year uh and, and some of you can give and some of you can give maybe uh considerably god has been blessing you maybe your business has been flourishing maybe you've seen uh breakthroughs you've sold property uh you've inheritances have come in settlements have come in. God has just opened the door. He's been blessing you. Or maybe you're saying, Pastor Paul, things are going just like they normally are, Even, uh, but I still want to give, or maybe even it's even been a little tight, but I still want to give. I want to celebrate. I want to thank the Lord for this channel, for this online church. For the, for the Oh, and by the way, Heidi's email, please check your email. Please check it. 
they did a lot of research over these 14 years, and we don't know how many people have been saved, really. But we do know that 12,353 salvations we have documented. We have documented 12,353. We know it's more than that. There's no way to know. But people's lives have been touched. They've been changed. And it's all because of the grace of God. It's all because of the blood of Jesus Christ. It's all because of his mercy uh, that endures for many generations. I am thanking you all right now. I'm thanking you in Jesus' precious name. I'm going to play a song, and I want you to do something. If you could go to our website right now at publiclyprophecy.com, or maybe you say, Pastor, I can't give today, but I can give Saturday. Or some of you, maybe you, uh, you can't give till Sunday, or certainly through Sunday night, or even to the next week. Just speak to you. Let, let God speak to you. Let the door open in your heart and help us uh, continue to be this mighty voice this church, this online church, what a voice to reach the people with the gospel of Jesus Christ. And so I'm going to play a song as we give. And um, I want to thank you. Some folks have already typed in the chat room right there that I've given. I've already given, Pastor. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. In Jesus' name. Thank the good Lord. It's in him that we live, move, and have our very being. And our book went number one again this morning. What? He was saying grace over a Tuesday blue plate special. When the man in the next booth said, don't you watch TV? Don't you know that God's a myth? I hate to see you waste your breath. There ain't no use in you talking. To a ghost that don't exist The praying man said amen And looked up from his plate And said, you may not talk to God right now But there's gonna come a day If you're a farmer in the field Praying for the rain Or you curse him at the gravesite Cause he called a loved one's name You can thank him, you can blame him Either way you're gonna face him Whether you believe in him or not In the end Everybody talks to God went quiet cause he didn't have a comeback so he shrugged it off and he paid his tab he shuffled out the door and the praying man he prayed for the man who drove away hoping he would see the light before it got too late but how was he to know he touched an unbeliever's soul Who got that conversation Two red lights down the road If you're a farmer in the field Praying for the rain Thank you guys, thank you. you. Much love. Sea Dog, thank you. Cause he called a loved one's name You can thank him, you can blame yes, him Either way you're gonna face him Whether you believe in him or not Cause in the end Everybody talks to God Everybody talks to God You can thank him, you can blame him Either way you're gonna face him Whether you believe in him or not Cause in the end, 
Everybody talks to God. Everybody talks to God. We all talk to God. Oh, praise God. Thank you guys for sending in your offerings to celebrate 14 years. Thank you for doing that today. We'll be doing that today, all day today, tomorrow, and Sunday, and Sunday night. Uh, it's, uh, and let me just show you something. I just, uh, this, <laughs> a few minutes ago, just got this off the phone. This is at Amazon.com. There you see it. Revelation 9-11 is when, w number one, a top new release, and it's in the category of history and religion we are number one in the category of history and religion um and uh, just a remarkable that this this is the fourth time now that we've went number one and of course the book is shipping amazon's going to release it this is the only one right now that's out there it's the one i got i get they sent of course they're going to send me one to look at and approve but <clears throat> They're releasing them all. All of the pre-orders that you guys have done are being released on the 26th of March. And uh, so get your orders in today. Get five. Order five of them. Uh, it, is, it is really amazing. Heidi was very, very impressed with the jacket. It was very well done. And um, I can see the chrome screen out there. makes makes it uh, interesting how it does that. But anyway... It's really off and running, and so what we wanted to do is get a hold of people's heart. Uh, Victoria says, I pre-ordered mine. Well, thank you. God bless you. You're really going to enjoy it when you read it. And, uh, you know, when I was writing it with Troy, back and forth, changing, adding more information. I mean, we did so many interviews I've done over the last 14 years, and he's done, and he's an investigative, you know, journalist. He was nominated for a Pulitzer Prize when he was the editor at the L.A. Times. Uh, so, and he's a, he, he loves the Lord, his wife. They're, they're great people. And uh, so he and I would be kicking back and forth uh, each chapter and everything we were adding and things we were trying to make it work. And then you go through the editing process and some things get to stay and some things we just decide to take back out. And then when, by the time you're done, you're finally done. Uh, it's incredible, but lives change plan of salvations in this book but boy you're going to hear everything that there is so uh you're going to we cover everything there is because apollyon is about to crawl out of the bottomless pit and he's bringing the hordes of hell but we will we take today's current world events and basically as it says right here on the book how the book of revelation intersects with today's headlines Okay, how the book of Revelation intersects with today's headlines, Revelation 9-11. And uh, so get your copy, place your pre-order right now. Thank you for your love gifts that you're sending in today. And uh, we love you. I'll be back. Uh, but pray for California and Nevada and Utah. This is an insane. I mean, can you imagine the wind? There you go. Can you imagine 145 mile an hour wind? 145 miles an hour with 12 feet of snow? No, that's insane. No, that's insane. Uh, these are the last days. Thank you, Haisha. She said she's ordering one today for her husband's birthday. That's tomorrow. All right. Tell him I said happy birthday. Praise God. Amen. Holly says I'm excited to read my copy when I get it. Amen to that. Oh, praise the Lord. Oh, thank you. And love you, Pastor Beckman and Sister Heidi. Thank you for your prayers for my husband. My husband gladly took a polygraph and passed with flying colors. Praise God for the truth. That's right. I told you, when you stand on the truth, the truth will make you free. Amen? Amen. So God bless all of you. I'll be back. Pray for the folks that are in this horrific storm that's uh, happening right now on this March the 1st. 2024, our 14th year here online. I was 48 years old when I started. Now I'm 62. But you know what? 
I I'm, I'm I'm feel pretty good. I really do. I mean, you know. Okay, let's go. Yeah, let's go. We got we got a good we got another 14 years in us. We got more than that in us, okay? So we just don't know when Jesus is coming. We would like to be right here live when the Lord raptures us out of here. I mean, are you serious? Are you seriously serious? Have you lost your mind or are you serious? What? I'll be back. I'll be back. And Mexico volcano, did it did it just explode? Explosion. Do I need to I'll be back. Let me go find out about it. I'll come back. God bless everybody. I know it's a dirt I know. Someone just I got it. I got a so I comment t shirt, change it. Oh, okay, but it's it's eighty degrees here. I'm sorry.